Okay, my dear students, welcome. How are you? How are you doing? Good morning, Anthony. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, Mariela, Nancy, and Sonia. Thanks for always being on time. Oops. Good morning. Ah, excellent. Okay. Good morning. Sorry. Okay, Good morning. nice. Thank you. Thank what you. adding to? My goodness. What adding to? Okay, my dearest. So let's continue. And today, look at this is our topic number one didactic as a discipline in pedagogy. I don't know if you remember, let me ask you, could you please, Jonathan Portillo, Jonathan, Jonathan Portillo. Hey, mister, do you remember what is didactic based on? Be ready, Mariela, please. Oops, Mr. Portillo, thank you. I got a message, let's see. No, 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 no. Really? Are you sure, mister? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will take into account. Mariela, good morning, my princess. Do you remember what is didactic based on? Pregunta de cap, señores. What is didactic? ¿En qué se basa la didáctica? Hay dos términos. Ajá. Is a science that is focused um, in teaching and learning. Mm -hmm. Excellent, my goodness. Didactic is based, number one, obviously is a science because we discover, we use didactic to discover our students' knowledge, to discover if they are learning or they are not learning. And didactic is based on two terms, teaching, and learning. But I got a question, Sonia Valiente. Didactic is based on teachers or is based on students? Well, I will change. Didactic, Sonia, is for teachers or didactic is for students? Uh -huh. For Didactic the is students. for, okay. You say for students. Let me ask you, Nancy, didactic is for teachers or is for students? For teachers. Okay, let me ask you, Mr. Celedon. Miss Celedon, excuse me, Glorita, didactic is for teachers or for students? Pregunta de cap, señores. Mm, for La didáctica. Okay. <laughs> La didáctica es para nosotros, los maestros, para usted como maestro, para los alumnos. Obviamente, didactic is for teachers. What? Yes. Why, teacher? Because didactic is just a tool. One of the tools. Apenas, apenas es una de todas las herramientas que nosotros utilizamos. But exactamente, la didáctica es para nosotros los maestros. El alumno no necesita aprender didáctica. No, es usted el que necesita aprender didáctica. Es usted el que necesita ver qué método va a utilizar. Es usted el que necesita ver cuáles técnicas va a utilizar, ¿ok? So, I gotta say, conclusion. This is just a review. This is my warm-up today. Pedagogy. Who wants to tell me what is pedagogy based on? Five, four, three, two. No, hombre, estamos, si hoy tuviéramos el examen, lo dejamos. What is pedagogy, guys? Based for o based on. O pedagogy is for teachers or pedagogy is for students? Five, four, three. Pedagogy five. is for students. Thank you so much, Miss Eledon. Pedagogy is for students, obviously. But I got a third question. Ya tengo, vamos con la tercera pregunta. Espero que la vaya anotando porque esto es para usted. Pedagogy is obviously for students, but I got a question. Is for everybody? Teenagers? Kids? Young adults? In adults? Is for everybody? Or we got a specific students. Why? We got, a, uh, we got a specific kids. For, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Kids. Specific kids, teenagers, young adults. So, what is the science that we use to teach for adults? What's the science? Do you remember? Andragogia. Perfect. Andragogy. Yeah. O sea, la andragogía. Entonces, teacher, déjeme ver si le, si le capté, porque usted, teacher, eh, habla bien rápido. Ok, teacher, la didáctica es para los maestros. Ya lo entendí. Porque es mi herramienta. Es una de todas las herramientas, porque la didáctica envuelve todo. ¿Se acuerdan como cuando mirábamos lingüística? O sea, 
gramática es la hija de la lingüística. O sea, de la lingüística parte la gramática y ahí vamos desglosando que es fonología, que es la pragmática, que es el morfor. Entonces, lo mismo es en didáctica. La didáctica es como la mamá, vea. Para que, se, para, para que me lo explique así, voy a, voy a utilizar pedagogía, no andragogía como ustedes ahorita. Entonces, la didáctica es como, es como nuestra mamá. De la didáctica salen todos los hijitos. Entonces, uno de los hijitos que sale en este caso es la pedagogía. ¿Por qué no puedo utilizar la pedagogía en el nivel superior? Five, four, three, two, one. Why? Because Excelente. It's... Viene con todo, Glorita. Me encanta. <laughs> Because it's not the same. It's not the same, but in, in, uh -huh. we use different techniques. Exact. Maybe? Techniques, methodologies, methods, theories. Hey, I got a question. Esa es otra pregunta de Cap. Mire, que aquí tengo un gran montón de preguntas y potes para que después usted me diga, es que a mí eso no me lo dieron. Claro que se lo dieron porque usted no puso atención por estar en TikTok. Ahora bien, yo tengo una pregunta. Teoría. Es lo mismo, perdón, perdón, perdón. Metodología es lo mismo que técnica. Methodology is the same as techniques. Methodology versus techniques. It is the same, guys. Why? No. 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 Why? Because methodology is uh, like the word said, uh, methods that you are going to use. Mm -hmm. And techniques are. You say strategies? Strategies, uh huh. Yeah, are the strategies that you are going to use to, um, I don't know, mm -hmm. to, yeah, uh -huh. to uh, implement. Okay. I don't remember that word. Implement okay. those methods. Okay, so perfect. <clears throat> In this case, methodology and techniques. Number one, are totally different. Methodology is always based on theories. Uy, teacher, ya me perdí. Se dice que la metodología es basada en teorías. ¿Por qué? Y eso no lo digo yo. Esto lo dice los estudios. ¿Por qué la metodología es basada en teorías, señores? Piense, ponga el hamster a trabajar. En vez de mandarlo a leer un PDF, quiero que, que usted diga, ¿Por qué la metodología es basada en teoría? Five, four, Porque son ciencias que ya están establecidas, teacher. Mm, no, but thanks. Porque se basa en lo... There is a word, there is a word. Con... No, but thanks. There is a word, there is a word. Because it's baby... Dice Mr. Portillo, it is because it represents our study that has been applied with techniques. No, but thanks. ¿Por qué la metodología es una teoría? Five, four, three, two. Because it's based on experience. Por ejemplo, no sé si ustedes alguna vez han escuchado que dicen la metodología de Montessori. ¿Saben quién era Montessori? María Montessori. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, María Montessori, es una de las mayores exponentes de la didáctica. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. En mi caso, amo la metodología de Montessori. Es basada en la teoría acorde a la experiencia que ella tuvo. Lo único que no me gusta de Montessori es que Montessori se enfocó demasiado en los niños, demasiado. O sea, ella en los teenagers casi no puso atención. Montessori se, bajó, se, se basó, peso, perdón, su metodología más que todo en los niños. Y una cosa que decía Montessori era, let your kids learn in their way. Don't put on the pressure. Make thinkers, decía ella. Hagan lo que piensen. Pero ella basada siempre, kids, 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 kids. All the time, kids. This is Montessori method. Because Montessori is based on a theory. That kids learning in a better way by playing games, participating in class, don't put on the pressure, let them to work as a long way, So, this is Montessori method. Por eso que se le llama una metodología. Entonces, si la metodología 
no es lo mismo que una técnica. Claro que no, porque, por ejemplo, ¿cuál es una técnica? Vamos a ver si han identificado. Díganme una técnica que yo utilizo para dar clases. A ver si me han logrado, si me han analizado. Díganme una técnica que usted diga, fíjate que la licenciada hace esto. Y yeah, la técnica de hacer 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 para exactly. que la persona esté atenta. Exactly. This is my technique. Hey, five. Number one, because I don't, I don't like to waste my time. Se han fijado que, ok, uh, what is didactic? Y se queda el catedrático. No, hombre, nos aburrimos. Esa es una técnica. Esto no, es un, no es una metodología, no. Esa es una técnica. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Entonces, esa es la diferencia. ¿Cuál es, what is a technique? Technique is your teacher's style. Technique is your teacher this is my style this is my technique because this is my style okay anthony has another one gloria has another one jocelyn has another one leslie has another okay so methodology is based on theory but but techniques is your style okay teacher yo mi estilo es no sé hablan el libro copien y llenen el, ese es mi estilo, teacher, ok, que Dios lo bendiga. Okay. Si es su estilo y si le funciona, dele. Porque, it is, in my case, this is my style, but obviously it's not the perfect one. Maybe, maybe it doesn't fit to you, but it fits 100% to me, ok. So, so we got didactic, pedagogy, and andragogy. An equation, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's continue. No. Excellent. Let me see, let me see. Vamos a leer un poquito. Creo que no sé si lo leímos ayer, but it's necessary to read it again. I need a volunteer, please. Me. Thank you, Mr. Cigarango. Go ahead. Okay. Didactics is the science of teaching and learning. Teaching in a pedagogical sense is the action of transmitting knowledge and stimulating the student to acquire, acquire it. Learning is the acquisition of knowledge. Teaching and learning are closely correlated. Normally, teaching causes learning. Thank you so much. Okay. Transmitting knowledge. Señores, ustedes no pueden transmitir conocimientos si solamente se quedan con el título que en el nombre de Dios les vamos a dar muy pronto. Teachers never stop learning. Never. Teachers never stop learning. I repeat it many times to all of you, and I will repeat it again. If you have the opportunity to continue studying, do it, please. Get diplomas, get diplomados, get take trainings. Because if you want to try to be an integral teacher, but in my opinion, an integral teacher doesn't exist. But if you want to be the first one, you have to continue studying, studying, transmitting knowledge by by your experience, by your learning, by your studies, okay? So, let's continue. Volunteer number two, didactics, please. Thank you. Michael, Thank you, welcome. Hey, Michael, what happened to you yesterday because you missed my class? Yeah, sorry, my mom was bad. She said that she was feeling a pain in her ear. Ah, okay. I have to take her to the doctor. So How's sorry, she? I. Now, uh, the pain is still there, but it's less okay. than yesterday. Okay. Well, I'm so sorry, Michael. And thanks for being in class. Could you please help me just to read? Thank you. Yeah, the didactics is an applied pedagogical discipline because it is committed to the practical problems that concern the teaching learning process in the professional development of teachers. It is specified in the reflection and analysis and analysis of the teaching learning process. Teaching learning process. Thank you so much. Please. Now, could you please, guys, you are going to write your own explanation. Saben, yo, yo siempre he dicho, a mí me encantaría que en un futuro, eh, eh, por ejemplo, uno de los exponentes de la didáctica es Paulo Freire. Está otro que se llama Eric Erickson mi favorita que es Montessori. Hay varios ahí exponentes de la didáctica y todavía hoy en el 2022 seguimos utilizando las teorías, los métodos este, que, ellos, que ellos utilizaron, pero a mí me encantaría que en un futuro dijeran la metodología de Gloria Celedón. 
la metodología de Seiri, la metodología de Nancy González. O sea, que en un futuro nos leyeran y dijeran, la metodología de Jonathan Portillo, la metodología de Mariela Semo. O sea, se, qué increíble fuera que alguien, que alguien utilizara nuestras metodologías conforme a nuestras experiencias. Que ya no dijeran Montessori, que ya no dijeran Paulo Freire, que ya no dijeran Eric Erickson, que ya no dijeran Bowling, que ya no dijeran Eison, que dijeran Jocelyn Noyola. Vamos a leer la metodología de Jocelyn Noyola, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahora yo quiero que usted, en una persona profesional, quiero que me escriba que es didáctica. No me escriba didáctica, son métodos y ten, eso ya que lo eso ya lo sabemos, ya está desgastado. Quiero que usted me quiero que usted me diga, perdón, ahí la voy a. Clases virtuales. Todos tenemos necesidad de trabajar. Y ya va a pasar de regreso. Ok. Quiero que me escriban sus propias palabras, señores, que es la didáctica. No me, no me diga que son métodos. Eso ya lo sabemos. Quiero que usted me diga más allá. Más allá. ¿Qué es la didáctica? Les voy a dar un minuto, 30 segundos y comienzo en orden. Don't use Google, ¿ok? Don't use Google. Use your own knowledge.
Okay, my dearest students, 60 seconds. 30 seconds, excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna start in order, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's see, the first one on my list is Anthony Valencia. Could you please give us your definition, your own definition about didactic? And then please be ready, Gloria. Okay, you can hear me. Perfect. Okay, well, uh, I consider that didactic are the the different way that someone has to try to teach someone else to understand or try to learn about a specific topic or also try to transmit the experience that that person had to try the another one okay thank you okay um, okay wait wait no, give, give us a second because i like to take notes okay okay please gloria and then be ready jocelyn now, yes, teacher. Yes, Bill, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, okay, okay. The didactic is a study of teaching and learning techniques and methods in order to improve the educational process. Okay, educational process. Thank you, Gloria. Jocelyn, and then please, Jonathan Portillo. Um, didactic uh, is a discipline in the reflection and analysis analysis of teaching learning process that a professional develop. Okay, thank you, Miss Noyola, Mr. Portillo, and then please, Leslie. Okay, let's see, Mr. Portillo said, didactic is the support for teachers in order to guide us how to teach and learn by experience. Thank you so much, Leslie, and then Mr. Cigaran. Thank you, Ms. Castillo. Mm, yes, your microphone is on, but I can't hear you. Yes, it's on, but maybe you got some problems. If you want, you can use as Jonathan's example. Would you like to help me and send your definition into the chat okay into the zoom chat thank you mr cigaran please give us your definition thank you okay for me the di didactic is transmit all your knowledge to your students it's like an art where you can learn and use different ways to to express sorry that knowledge in an orderly way okay thank you so much mariela and then michael Okay, um, for me, the, the didactic is um, different means that we use to the learning be more effective. Okay, thank you, Michael, and then Nancy, and I'm gonna conclude with Sonia. For me, didactic is the way of how the teachers teach using different methods or techniques according to the necessities of the student. According to the necessities. Thank you, Nancy, and then Sonia. Yes, uh, for me, it's uh, everything related to how we teach students using different strategies that help us improve learning, taking into account their various abilities and characteristics. And characteristics. Thank you. It said, Mr. Cigaran, otherly. Otherly. It's un adverbio. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, Sonia, please. I'm going to conclude with you. Okay, didactic is a process, but for me, it's a motivation and effective factor that usually concerns teachers. Teacher wonders why, if they give clear explanation, the class show no 
interest that it was the discipline wants to explain. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, this is didactic according to you. Now, the second one is pedagogy. Think about it, please. Think about it. Pedagogy is the art. Ooh. When it said is the art, it comes to my mind when you have some teachers that like to be different from the rest. Would you I like, like to how to that sound? Yes, is art. The art. Uh -huh. Is the art pedagogy? You can pursue. As a, as a teachers, we are not just teachers, not just psychologists, not just guidance. We are artists too. What is an art? An art is when you got. How can I explain uh, with this word? An art is when you got that is styles or, 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 or when you say, I would like to be different from the rest of my, of my co-workers. I mean, I would like to, I would like to get my students involved into my class, but no worries, Leslie, thank you. I would like to, I would like to wall, I would like to, to get my students involved into my class, but like, a, hey, today I have classes with teacher Luis Cigaran. My goodness, I'm so excited because he's an artist. He's an artist, okay? Because teacher Luis, my goodness, I like his style. He really catch my attention, but not just catch my attention. I really learn in the classes, okay? Remember guys, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what kind of objectives do you got. Okay, for example, the topic for today is the present continuous. My objective is make sure students, students what? Students be able, be able to understand. Okay, perfect, but just to understand, what is your objective? Okay, my objective is just to, okay, students will be able to learn, just to learn. You are an artist, guys. You are an artist, okay? So, pedagogy is an art to teach. Oh, not always, teacher, but I, I always feel boring because you always do the same. Open your book, write the day, okay, today is Tuesday. Okay, we are going to work from page one to page 50. When you finish, just please let me know because now I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Que chiva tu vida, vea. Eso no es un arte. Que todos los días usted llega al salón de clase, habla su libro, vamos a trabajar de la página 1 a la 50. Y las que no logren terminar, esa es su tarea. Y, y eso se lo voy a tomar como actividad y esa es su nota. No, hombre. Sí hay necesidad de llenar un libro. Yo le doy gracias a la vida que con ustedes no hay necesidad de estar llenando libros. Ok, eso sí es algo ya bien, bien, bien monótono. Eso es algo ya bien, de, de, ya bien de, de, desfasado, no deficiente, desfasado. Estar con un libro y que yo le diga, vaya, abra la página en tal, que no sé qué. Aún, aún yo en la academia, yo a ellos les doy la copia de un libro, pero lo más que les doy son ocho, ocho páginas para el mes, imagínense. Ocho páginas para el mes de clases que ellos están con nosotros en cada nivel. Ok. ¿Cuál es, cuál es uno de los errores o, lo, o, o de los errores más comunes que cometen los maestros de inglés? Que primero quieren enseñar a escribir antes de enseñarles a hablar. Eso no es un arte, señores. Eso no es un arte. ¿Qué es lo que primero que aprende un bebé? A baby first learn to speak. Obviously, one of the skills is listening, but this is natural. But the first one, a baby learns to speak. By why? By why? Because when you hear sounds, then you communicate. Okay? Mama, dicen ellos. Papa, agua. Okay? So, there is 
it, 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 it is a wrong way when you when you want to make your students write at English or write in English before to speak. That's a very common mistake that as an English teacher we like to do it in the classroom. Sí, lo seguimos haciendo todavía. We still, we still continue doing it. Pedagogy is an art. It's a science, a profession of teaching. This broad definition covers various or different aspects of teaching. And there are many moving parts to pedagogy that include teaching styles. What is your style to teach? What is your style? Have you ever think about it? Let me ask you, let me ask you, Mariela, could you please turn on your audio? Mariela, have you had the opportunity to teach in the classroom? Um, actually, no yet. Okay, but what can be your style? Have you ever think about it? Yes, um, in some cases, I think that is good when the is, um, when you learn, but with games, I think that is more easy for the students. Okay, would you like to work as an English teacher in the future? Yes. And what can be your specialty? I mean, would you like to work with teenagers, young adults, kids? Yes, I think that kids and teenagers. Kids and teenagers, why not adults? Andragogy. Uh -huh. Actually, in this moment, I, I don't know, but with the kids, I really like kids, <laughs> I like kids. So, and the teenagers, in some cases, I was to need to, uh, to solve mm -hmm. different classes okay. to different teachers, teenagers, okay. and I consider that it's really interesting. Okay, so choose a student, please. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to. Okay, yes, please. Um. Okay, Sonia Valiente. Sonia. I'm so sorry. This is virtual classes. Okay, What's let me. <laughs> give us some seconds. Okay, Sonia, have you ever had the opportunity? Ya casi terminó la clase, señores. Have you ever had the opportunity to teach? Oops, thank you, Sonia, Miss Valiente. Oh, oh my goodness, Sonia, can you hear me? Let me know if you got some problems, please. This is the first time you didn't answer. Five, four, three, two. Mariela, choose another one. I don't know what happened with your classmate. Okay, uh, Anthony. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Anthony, I'm going to conclude the class with your amazing opinion. Anthony, have you ever had the opportunity to teach? Uh, in my case, I don't consider it's not to teach, it's just like to help uh, my, my brothers because, ah, okay. yeah, in their color, in the college, they are learning to English. They have English class, and of course, sometimes it's something difficult for them. And always I try to help them. Also, uh, some friends that they are in academies tell me that I can help them because they know that I have a little more in the uh, in this days in speaking English in English in general. And sometimes I try to find a easy way to they uh, learn easier. And sometimes I I I start to look in information or way to try to help them. I consider it okay. something good, and I really like it. Okay. Oh, that, okay. That's nice. That uh, okay. That answered my second question. Would you like to work as an English teacher? Yes, I consider. I I really like it. The teach English. Not in the okay. not in that professional, but I consider this a good. I'm my first step to start to teach. Okay, and for example, would you like to teach kids, teenagers, young adults or adults? 
Well, I have the experience to teach it to kids for all my brothers uh -huh. and young, uh -huh. young adult for my friends. I consider them. I really like to have the opportunity to teach him another, another one. The okay, perfect. Years. Thank you. Okay, nice. Really nice as usual. Thanks to all of you guys. Okay, I'm going to conclude the first part with this one. What is pedagogy? We, when we, well, for the second block, for the second block, um, after break, you are going to tell me what is pedagogy for you. And I really, really, really want to listen to all of you. What kind of students would you like to work on? For example, teacher, for me, pedagogy is this. And in my personal, I would like to work with teenagers, kids, or young adults or adults because blah, blah, blah. You got it, guys? Five, four, three, two. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, Excellent, yes, my dears. Okay, vamos a echarnos la, cafe, el, la tacita de café. Vamos a comer un par de pupusitas. Y nos vemos a las 10 en punto. Gracias, chicos. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome.